a very good evening and a warm welcome to the August gathering. We would like to extend our gratitude towards one and all on the campus. To start off with the founding family, all our professors, the administration, the university, and our very dear batchmates, and the constant pillar of support through these four years, their parents. This journey would not have been the same without you. Recollecting our memories to the very first day on campus, to the orientation session, where we were amongst 350 new faces, to our last day, where we are amongst a family of roughly 400. All of us left our homes to come here, and now SNU is our home. This journey has been like sailing through a storm. You start by going in the direction of the wind, but soon you realize that you have to be the captain of your own ship and, and sail through. In our very first year, we were all very sincere. Yeah, yeah, in our very first semester, we were all... In our very first month, at least, we were used to getting up early in the morning, taking a, taking a bath. Rather, there used to be a queue outside the washrooms, then getting dressed, followed by standing in the breakfast queue again and finally reaching the class five to ten minutes early. Four weeks later, the bathrooms got lonelier, the mess queues got shorter, and the classes, well, let's not go there. This may not... This may not be true for every one of us, but most of us did get there sooner or later. From smart casuals to flip-flops and shorts, from showering twice a day to showering twice a week, from waking up at 6 to sleeping at 6, SNU help, has helped us mold a certain way of lifestyle that has, that has helped us go through this roller coaster ride. SNU is an astoundingly unique place, and so are the people. In a world so digitally connected as ours, we were entitled to a 7 GB high speed bandwidth per month, which then got upgraded to 3 GB per week, but so did our needs. The amount of time we spent on the buffering of YouTube videos was probably enough to get a minor degree. Well, and who can forget the SNU guards who decided where, uh, whether we were allowed at certain places on the campus or not. The mouth-watering mess food and the extra crispy rotis, the fresh glasses, the thick and the rich gravy, and the constant through these all years, the sambar at DH2. <laughs> and finally, our saviour, the Rolu Dadhaba. And amongst all of this, the Minimart, where you'll find everything except what you're looking for. And when you think it's finally the time to get a haircut, Beleza will make you regret your decision. Lifts without numbers, doors without latches, and the whole campus in the middle of nowhere. Even amongst all such compromises, an oasis in the desert, SNU gave us a reason to stay. Taking words from Swami Vivekanand. <laughs> taking words from Swami Vivekanand. Suppose you put a seed in the ground. You water it regularly. You ensure that the soil is fertilized. You hope for the right amount of sunlight, rain, and, and the perfect climate conditions. But all you can do is provide the plant with the resources. It develops after its, low, uh, after its laws of own growth. The plant, the seed assimilates the air, the earth, and the water to make plant substance and then grow. Similar to this, SNU opened the doors for us to a river of opportunities and resources. The campus provided us the space to sit without any restrictions and let our thoughts flow. Freedom to think outside the box and to be outside the box. The, the, uh, the diversity that our batch holds added more depth, depth of our knowledge because of the multidisciplinary approach, various students built their bases into various parallels. The liberty to interact among these different parallels broadened our insight and our mindset. The fact that the library was accessible till 2 a.m. and the always occupied palm trees and canopies. We have lived in our hostel with high spirits and a thirst to grow. SNU has given us an empty canvas to paint. As young adults, it was left up to us about how we painted our own masterpiece. You can take a Chinese bamboo seed and plant, plant it in the ground. You can nurture it, you can water it for a year. It won't grow. Rather, it won't grow for the next five years. Then, there will be a tiny sprung. And over the next six weeks, this tiny sprung will be as tall as 80 feet. Now, what was the plant doing in those five years? Seeming dormant? It was growing its roots. It was preparing itself for rapid, massive growth. Now, as SNU has nurtured us, helped us grow our roots, 
and depth of knowledge we are ready to sprout into the world. This place has provided us so much for the past four years. And now the time has come that we return the favor and bring our alma mater to the limelight by being great achievers and successful leaders in our respective fields. And I'm sure that the batch of 2017 will make the university proud. Keeping all of this and more in mind, we would like to sign off on behalf of the batch of 2017 by saying that life is like a game of chess. There are 72,084 positions after two moves, 9 million after three, and more than 288 billion after four. It is the, make, it is the move that you make which will shape your success story. Thank you.